Have you ever wondered why mushrooms exist, what their purpose is, and how to tell if they're edible or deadly? Well, let's start from the basics. First of all, many people have learned that mushrooms or fungi are plants, but actually, they're not. They are completely different. They are from the fungal kingdom, and actually, instead of breathing CO2 or carbon dioxide, they breathe oxygen like us and other creatures, but if they didn't exist, we would cease to exist as well. So, why is it that we wouldn't exist if the mushrooms weren't here? First of all, the mushroom itself is the reproductive organ of the fungus. Without it, the fungus wouldn't be able to create and send spores through the air. The rest of the mushroom is called the mycelium, or the root base of the fungus. The mycelium is either underground, in dead trees, or wherever else the different types of mushrooms may live, but they cannot be seen unless you grow them in captivity. Depending on the fungus determines on if they can last for weeks, or even years. The world's largest organism is in Malher National Forest in the Blue Mountains of Eastern Oregon. It's the Armillaria astoyae, or more commonly known as the honey mushroom. It is estimated to cover over 2,200 acres and thought to be at least 2,400 years old. That's old. Also, with the mycelium, it breaks down whatever substrate it's in so it creates the soil for the plants to be able to access the nutrients that are inside there. Mushroom mycelium will break down trunks of trees, rejuvenate the soil, break down leaves, and even rocks. If you see rocks with holes in them, that's probably from a certain type of fungus, unless it's by the seashore. Another thing that I find amazing is that they can receive water where plants cannot. Not only can they break down their environment to get water, but some species exchange it with plants because their mycelium is attached to their roots. Such as trees, and they have a symbiotic relationship. Also, there are some that can stretch quite a ways and can bring water to places where it rarely ever rains. In other words, if fungi weren't there, the plants would find it a bit more difficult to receive their much needed resources. I find it very fascinating that people are now making mycelium into foam for shipping and furniture that's a biodegradable substance. I think it's great that it can deteriorate outside and doesn't have to go through a time laboring process to properly dispose of it. Before I continue on, this is not for finding food in the wilderness, it's for educational purposes only. Now, how can you tell which ones are edible and which ones are not? Well, the best thing to do is to order from an online, well-known, reputable resource or website. But if you were to go out into the wilderness to find mushrooms, I would make sure I knew with 100% surety what they are and that they were edible before I would consume them. Just like berries, some look alike and others don't. One thing is that you need to cook the mushrooms before you eat them, because if you don't, they can cause bodily upsets and your body won't be able to consume the nutrients that they have at a cellular level. A few that are easier to tell for beginners are oyster mushrooms, reishi mushrooms, chanterelles make sure they don't have gills, just bumps for gills, morel mushrooms, and a few others that I will talk about in later videos. One more thing, when you go to the grocery store and you see the white button mushrooms, the cremini mushrooms, baby bellas, and portabellas, don't be fooled. They are all the same type of mushroom. The only difference is that the white button mushroom doesn't get sunlight for vitamin D, and the others do. Along with that, the portabella mushroom is actually one of the least nutritious edible mushrooms and can be compared to iceberg lettuce. They aren't near as unnutritional, they have vitamin B and minerals such as copper and selenium. Mushrooms are superfoods. Just some food for thought. I hope you have enjoyed my mushroom video, and if so, please like and subscribe to my channel. You are all awesome, and I want to thank you for your support.